said him, she wore him red and beat him blue. Every word of this is true. Hello, friends and neighbors. I wanted to come out this beautiful uh, evening in, uh, in May here and show you all how I play this neat old tune called Will the Weaver. Uh, I learned it from a recording of Charlie Parker and I believe the guy accompanying him was Mac Woolbright. But if you look up Charlie Parker for sure and Will the Weaver, you'll find the recording where I first heard this song. And it's a funny song. Um, they sing about twice as many verses as I typically do. I don't know all the, all those verses. It's too much of a tongue twister for me. But it's one of those, it's a, probably an old English song. It's probably older than the United States. I don't know for sure. Somebody out there has done more research on it. I, I, I wasn't able to find a whole lot. I just did a quick search around didn't find a whole lot on it but i'm sure it's an old english song that's that's uh very early it's kind of like the farmer and, and the and his, uh farmer the devil and the farmer's cursed wife or the devil song i sing it's a funny old english song for those of you who want the tablature for this please go ahead and click on this link in the top left corner. That'll take you to patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks for a very low monthly or annual contribution. You get the tab for this and every other song that, that you, uh, you see me play and teach here. So please do click on this link. Join us up there if you want the tab. If you don't need tablature, you just want to see, kind of get the gist of how I do it, uh, I'll, show, I'll show you that now. So I'm using this old 1888 Cubbly banjo. Neat old banjo. I don't know why my dog is raising hell right now. There's a bunch of crows in the cane and the creek across the road, and I think she's barking at the crows. Anyhow, don't mind her. She's just doing her job. Um, so my, my relative tuning is standard banjo tuning, G, D, G, B, D. Some uh, picky uh, connoisseurs will call that high bass tuning, G, D, G, B, D. I'm relative tuned. My actual tuning is much lower than that. I'm probably, instead of being tuned up in G, I'm probably down in open E right now to match my singing voice. So, how, and I, I have never picked this song on the banjo until just a few days ago I started picking it. I've always sung it, the, some of the verses and thought they were neat, but it makes a great banjo tune too. So, uh, how, how do you figure it out? Um, you can start it on the, you can also play this in double C. But for me, I couldn't sing that high. In double C, you're doing lots of first string work off the fifth fret and higher. And for me, that's just not very singable. So I had to drop it down to open G tuning, standard G tuning, relative G tuning. And so I can sing it in this. And for me, I can either start it on the open second string, or I can get the same result a lot cooler by sliding on the third string from the second fret to the fourth fret. That gives me, which is the same sound as. So it's the same sound. So you can either start on the open second string or like me, slide from the second to the fourth on the third string. So, so you're gonna do that and hold that for a few notes. Then you're gonna uh, come up and note the third string at the second fret. it open that gives you a son oh son go home and love her next part is do not find no fault above her um, then I go directly into a full C shape so this is my full C chord shape right here Everybody ought to know standard C chord on standard banjo tuning. So I go from son, oh son, go home and love her, then go into the full C chord shape. Do not find, do not find no fault above her, but if she will, and then go back to that slide, she will not do well. Then I'm going to do a, a quick double note on the first string at the second fret. Pick up a stick and beat her. Well, well, and then you're just gonna basically. Uh, I think of what I do is I do a. What I actually do there is I do the double note on the first string at the second fret. Then I do a drop thumb off of the third string. And then I'm gonna note the third string at the second fret and then play the third string open. All right, so that's. 
That's it. That's it, folks. That's the gist of it. I'm showing you overhand there. Uh, I probably, you know, mostly I'm, I like to two finger pick mostly these days. If you click up here and you get the tab from me, I always try to show you. Typically, I'll show you both the two finger approach and I'll show you the overhand approach. Uh, on sometimes I'll also show you maybe the up upstroke approach, which is kind of a combination of the two. But typically, I'll always show you the two finger approach and the overhand approach. Weeping up the chimney, got to peeping. There he spied the wretched soul perched upon the pot rack bowl. He put on a pretty good fire just to suit his own desires. Wife cried out of her own free will, Don't do that, the man you kill. Ooh. All right, everybody, thanks for looking.